Hey folks, Ben here. This is Mario Speedruns. Uh, this is show number 32, and it's uh, being filmed on uh, April the 3rd, 2016. Baldor is a halfling rogue, and he's level 20. <clears throat> His lowest depth is 600 feet. In the last show, we uh, lost our scroll of Word of Recall, so we had to walk up the slow way. So I've done that, I'm all the way up in the town, and we're just going to check the town, and then we're going to go zip back in our 600 feet and try to get to level 21. That's the plan. Yes, I am standing on the jigsaw puzzle. No, I haven't put one piece in it. Turns out a jigsaw puzzle cannot compete with the internet. <laughs> the internet's better. The internet's better than this thing. Okay, let's play some more, yeah? But before we do, let's check out the Wheel of Source code. All right, spin it. You know what? I think uh, the last show I did, show number 31, that was like one of my best shows ever, and it got the least views. Damn, I hate it when that happens. It's like, damn. Anyway, here we go. Let's stop the wheel. Three, two, one, and stop. Lose experience. Lose experience. 40 lines long. All right, let's take a look. Lose exp. Lose experience, R-A-K. So, okay, we're passing in the amount. That makes sense. So uh, in the callers, there'll be like a potion of lose experience or an attack where, it, where you lose experience and it'll pass in a number. All right, so the first thing we do is we just, hmm, we just decrement the experience and then we show it again. That's all we do. Um, if it takes us below zero, we just level out at zero. Can you imagine having zero experience? Start a game and find out what that's like. <laughs> the rest of this is about dealing with the level. So did we lose a level? That's what this is doing. So it's counting up the levels that we've lost. All right, and there's an off by one error, so they add another. And then we have to recalculate our, our spells if we're a mage or our prayers if we're a priest. Makes sense. Oh, and our hit points might be different, yikes. Lastly, we print out our new level on the screen and our new title. Our title is like the Senior Rogue thing or something like that. Okay, that is it. Let's take a look at the callers. Callers are, there's a lose experience right there. Damage plus a, a, a one hundredth of the player's experience, ouch. Times my, that's a lot. That is damaging right there. And there's our potion. Let's take a look at that M value, just to give you a little spoiler. When you have that lose experience thing, what is it really, you know, what's it really doing? So right here, it's a random integer between one and a fifth of our experience. If it's more than max short, then it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> I can't even get, I can't even, it's, it's gonna be at least that. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. I don't wanna even, okay, it just says lose between one fifth and two fifths. So this must be the extra fifth. But no, it doesn't look like that. Anyway, I'll leave it to you to, to, uh, ex to uh, explore this if you're interested. And there's the message you feel, your memories fade. You don't... Hi ho Hi ho adventurers! <laughs> okay, here we are, we're in the town. Let's do a queep, a queep, a quick sweep of the stores before we go back down. 
Um, we're doing okay for uh, food and whatnot. Food in and light. What's over here? We sold our morning stars. There they are there. So if you find a morning star, it's not like a rapier or something that's worth nothing. It's worth something. So you keep it. Definitely keep it. <clears throat> if you can carry it. Here is that bar chain mail we found. Look at that. So that'll be interesting. 34 AC. Yikes. Our wisdom and our constitution is down a bit. Constitution potion is there. Nice. And we'll just check for that wisdom potion back here. Don't think there was one. Restore wisdom. There it is. Do we want to buy it? What do you think? Nah, let's leave it. Quick trip to the, whoa, to the weaponsmith. I'm just searching the, uh, searching this. Oh, look at that. 17 arrows of slang. Wow. It's nice to see special stuff in the store, even if we can't afford it. Uh, equipment wise, we could use boots, hard leather boots. And gauntlets. There's gauntlets. Thirty five AC, folks. Not bad. Um, and we'll just finish off by buying all of the identified scrolls that we can. Identify. No identifies. Can't hurt to buy those phase door scrolls. Well, I don't know. I think we're done. Hmm. Okay, down we go. Let's not lose our, our word of recall uh, scroll this time. Here we go. How many more experience points till the next level? 400. Let's try to do that. And yank. Here we are. Ba boom. Okay, not bad, right? 600 feet, let's clear the level. Doo -doo -doo. So, yeah, in the past week, what's his name? Gary Shanling died. How about that? I don't think I ever found him all that funny. He's just a little older, maybe. Some people younger than me have never even heard of him. But he was a good comedian. He, he uh, died of a massive heart attack at age 66, which is sad. But he was a health nut. He would box and he would... Uh, play basketball. And yeah, he would eat healthy foods. He was a pretty big uh, Buddhist type guy. 
you know, he was doing everything you might think you need to do to uh, live a long time. Meditation and everything. Uh, he recently made the news when he did some thing with uh, Ricky Gervais. Where uh, he came off as a huge asshole. <laughs> huge. If you watch it, it is awkward and horrible. And it's like, it looks like he's trying to sabotage the piece. It, it's just like, why would, what am I watching is the question that you think. You know, what? what is this? There must be something I'm not getting. That's what, you know, if you want, you, maybe you've seen it. It goes on for a long time. It goes on for so long that it's like they clip it to just show the most, uh, the most awkward, uncomfortable moments. It's funny because, uh, you know, Ricky Gervais, he has that uncomfortable humor <laughs> going with him. Oh, crap. So anyway, um, if you listen to a few podcasts, you can hear, uh, what's this? Whoa. You can hear a Gary talk about that particular incident. Oh, God. How did I miss... Score chart, yes. Not bad. Up and up and up. So, um, yeah. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, um, on the Pete Holmes podcast, Gary Shamling talked about that. And I hadn't heard an explanation from his side of it at all. So he explains it very well. But it's still weird, you know, like, even if what happened, even if it went down as he said it went down, you don't behave like that. <laughs> wow. You have slain it, but we're very poisoned right now. Okay. So essentially, uh, essentially there were two um, things he was supposed to film, and Ricky's producer made a pulled a fast one, and uh, and filmed. His, Ricky's, first instead of Gary's. Gary didn't like that. Just because uh, if you watch it, uh, his thing was, you saw me and you couldn't tell me? That was his thing. So when he's talking about, I saw you over there, didn't? wasn't that you? That's him saying, you could have told me that was going on. You, know, you could have said something like, Hey, Gary, we're doing something different here. Crap. So then, as he says, he tried to turn it into something uh, else. He tried to do something comedic, and it did not work. <laughs> so anyway, that's the Pete Holmes uh, You Made It Weird podcast. And he re-aired it, even though it just happened. Poor guy. What to do? Got him. 
Nice small sword. So yeah, give that a listen if you uh, if you're confused about what that was. If you've already seen it, you know it's it's pretty good explanation. But be warned, there's a lot of like uh, new agey kind of talk on Pete Holmes's podcast. If that annoys you, then don't watch it. Don't listen to it. Uh, let's see. Where are we? We're just all over this map here. We're not going in any particular order. Just going where the rooms take us. So I have been working on another project, just an experiment more than anything. Whoa. How do you get there? So this project I'm working on is um, a TV rating system. A TV rating system wherein it measures the downloads. Not just the downloads for each day, and it just shows you what people are downloading. That's all it's supposed to do, and it gives a score. So to do that, it actually uh, calculates. It, it kind of adds up all of the... Uh, oh, crap. Crap. It adds up all of the scores, all of the peers per show. So if uh, Torrent has many listings, they all count toward the same show. Damn, this is getting expensive, folks. Hmm, rough. So anyway, it's called uh, Popular TV Downloads. I'll put a link in the description. It's not a real project. It's not going to stick around. But it's fun just because it uh, it's all automatic. I can just run it and off it goes. And it makes a video and it uploads it to YouTube automatically. Um, and the other fun thing is the music, so it's meant to kind of be cheesy. Not kind of be cheesy, it's meant to be cheesy. So, just, you can check it out. It's not going to stick around as a project or anything, it's just a, just an experiment. Alright, now what? How close are we to that we're still a ways away? Hmm. Damn, I wish we'd carry those arrows. Small sword can't be worth much.
Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. We're not going to make it to level 21, folks. Hmm, interesting. We are not going to win this battle. No, sir. And there's no door there. Wow. What's that? Wand of Slow Monster. Ooh, what's that? A lot of good stuff, but we just can't identify it. That can't be better than our bar mail. Just can't be. So now we're stuck in this room and we have to go back through those giant lou those louses. Maybe we don't. Ah, we, we have, we've escaped. Let's go deeper, folks. 650. What's that? Crap, all that leather. All right, we should probably stop here. What is that? Swordsman. Let's duke it out with Mr. Swordsman. Look at our, our HP go down here. Seventy. Hey, identify scroll. We could use that. Oops. What do you want to identify? What's the best thing? Ah, see, it's these are those questions that you have to answer in Moria. Limited resources, how do you spend them, right? Um, I guess that small leather shield, we know that that comes from, you know, 600 feet. Just found that. Let's go with that. Huh. Is it better than our current shield? No, it is not. Oops. But it's worth money. It's magic, so we'll keep it. I want to keep playing. I want to keep playing. What is he? Magic user. Why are we still wielding our pick? Fixed. All right. Never know what you're going to find, folks. Dark green mushroom. Certainly don't have any space for it. Better than carrying an arrow, though. What is he? Huh.
Ugh. What do we pick up? Potion weakness. All right, we're gonna stop here, folks. We're gonna stop. We gotta stop, right? We gotta. Soft leather boots can't be as good as our hard leather boots minus one. Hey, we made level 21, folks. And he didn't even bring down our strength. There you go. Level 21. Wow. Cure poison. Yes. That is a good spell to learn. Okay. That's Beldor. Uh, he's a senior rogue. Senior. What does that mean? Senior rogue. He's got seniority on the rest of them. I'm a senior. I'm a senior rogue. <laughs> All right, let's check out the charts. Charts, charts, charts. Here we go. Here's Baldor. All right. We actually made it quickly back uh, up to the town. You'll see on the uh, chart here. And you'll see, bam, we really boomed up right up there at the end with that metallic red centipede. Huh. So yeah, we went zoom right up to town very quickly. It only took us uh, less than a half a day. Hmm. And there is the new level 21. All right. Oh, that is not a good... Uh, trend on our goal. We want to go up more. You know, we want to be up here and then drop down. All right. Yeah, we fixed our constitution, didn't we? So that is. We added to our gold, even after buying some stuff. Our 2AC went up, pretty good, 1500 more to go, all right. We have been alive for 12 days in the dungeon, almost 10 hours of play, folks. It is a slow thing playing a uh, halfling rogue, I gotta say, 650 is our deepest. We are number three in most experienced. Uh, number two, all alone with the uh, highest level. We're now higher than Magoo. Number two in kills. Number two in hit points. 154, not bad. Number two in armor class. 35 is pretty good. All right, object picked up, 366. Gold, we're not doing very well. Score, 1700, we, what did we, how did we get to, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> anyway, that's that, where do we go from here, good enough question, right, I always seem to ask it, um, hmm, I don't know, uh, we're stuck with the, uh, intelligence, the intelligence, the identify scrolls, we need some of those, we can't have enough. Uh, eventually we'll learn that spell, but even after we learn it, it's going to have such a high uh, fail rate. And the store just doesn't produce enough of them. So maybe, maybe we should be buying those who remove curse scrolls. Not a bad idea, right? So we'll wear all the stuff that might be cursed. And if it is, we just cast that throw that stuff away so we can make sure that when we go to identify it's going to be at least normal. That's a pretty good plan. Yeah. Hmm. 
other than that, it's still the same. We want to clear levels. We want to find the cool stuff. The next cool thing we want to find is probably some kind of uh, slay undead weapon, something like that. We could be holding one. Maybe that's why our score is so high. Don't know. I just don't know. Um, yeah. So from here, it's, you know, we, we, we got to get down to 1250. We got to get... Maybe we should push. Maybe we push the character down to 1250. What do you think? He's level 21. Eh? Huh? What do you think? We can see invisible. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll push a double. We'll pull all the way down to 1250. Ugh. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being a little too courageous there. Ugh. Maybe we'll be way out of depth. I don't know. But let's go deeper than 650. Let's try that. All right, on a personal note, I am doing another uh, uh, workout month. Uh, this week's, this month's workout is doing a half marathon walk every day. And uh, you might say, oh, that sounds easy, it's just a walk. Well, my poor feet uh, beg to differ. They, it's going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be pretty rotten. This is day three, like I said, and it's friggin' cold. Even though it's April, it's like feels like minus 12 or something out there. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so, hmm. uh, yeah, that means no jigsawing because <laughs> I come home and it's just bad. <laughs> but I need to recuperate for the rest of the day so I can do this again the next day. All right, that's it for me. Uh, why don't you make a video like this? Make a video like this, you know. Play some more, yeah? Get a talking head thing going. And, uh, yeah, let's see how you can do it. I want to see you make one of these. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes. And tell me about it. I want to see it, right? So how am I going to know about it unless uh, you tell me about it? All right. Play your game and tape it. Tape it, record it. Nobody uses tape. All right. Until next time, take it easy. Bye-bye.